Michael is on the Roseland Peninsula in Cornwall. Michael, what would you like to say? Hello, hello. Well, quite exciting being on the radio. Oh, um, it's gonna, I'm, I hope it lives yeah. up to expectations, Michael. Yeah. Um, I think uh, Truss is in trouble at the moment, and what she doesn't want, above all, is a lot of a lot more media voices in an authoritative manner laying out a problem and, um, and the the idea that there might have to be uh, measures taken to reduce energy is a problem and that can turn into a problem for her. But blackouts so, are a bigger problem, aren't they? Yes, yes, I All think right. blackouts will be a bigger problem, but um, blackouts... She's, she's gambling, are, they, okay. might not, they might not happen. They're, da- they're down the track, and yeah. also down the track, I think what she has her eyes on is the situation in the Ukraine right. and escalation in the Ukraine. And escalation in the Ukraine would enable Truss to um, kind of fulfil the promise of those pictures of her in a tank. And Ooh, this is quite that, brutal, all, mate. This is very cynical. All of, all of that, yeah, all of that war leadership thing and right. the, Falklands, the Falklands effect that kind of saved Thatcher would also, I think, save Truss. Okay. So I think, I think she's holding out for events on kind of off, off stage over in But why, why, why would a public... Infor- Le- sorry. Why would a public information campaign on energy usage accelerate it, any escalation in Ukraine? Well, it, it, it wouldn't. No. It wouldn't. But That's where it, you what, lost what me a, a public, bit. No, what a public information... Um, the programme about energy usage would do would be give her another headache and at a time when she's really weak. Yes, um, OK. I, I, I mean, she, I think you're she, probably... She doesn't want that. No, I, I, this is the, where I'm departing from the, the, the consensus this morning, which doesn't often happen. The, this idea that the public information campaign would be bad for her, whereas because people would blame her. She's only been there 10 minutes. She could quite easily say, God, look at what I've inherited. In fact, she spent most of her conference speech saying, God, look what I've inherited from three successive governments that I was a cabinet minister in. She doesn't say that bit out loud, but it, you know, it might well play. Look what I've inherited. We've got to do this. We've got to really move fast to, to mitigate the impact of these problems on the horizon. Here's a public information campaign. If even Jacob Rees-Mogg is up for it, you, you'd think that any claim of ideology would be out the window, wouldn't you? That's the bit I don't get. It's, it's, how is it so bad? How, surely the problems are worse for her than the campaign designed to mitigate the problems. I think I think she would see it as another kind of anti, anti-growth anti coalition voice um, kind of... Just anyone who denies... It's, it's reality again, isn't it? Anyone who points yeah. at reality rather than at mythical yeah. sunlit uplands and unicorn deliveries is somehow... Uh, not ideologically pure enough for the for the cause. Where, where the bigger picture, and you you may not have a view on this. You don't have to answer it. But the bigger picture, this 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 idea that governments exercising, uh, behaving, spending money to protect, safeguard, improve the lives of the population. Where, the, the idea that that's toxic. Where does that come from? I don't know. I don't know either. Right, well, we'll continue to ask, Michael, until we find out. Thank, did it live up to your expectations being on the radio? Or was it a bit anticlimactic? Well, my heart's banging like, uh, <laughs> like, like nobody's business. Like the clappers. Yeah, Good. Great. Well, thank you. Well, make a habit of it. Come one, come all.